Hi guys, today is all about superheroes. So the first thing I'm going to go over drawing are the Powerpuff Girls. You may have heard of them before. It's kind of an older cartoon that started back when I was in high school. But um, they're just, it's just simple superheroes with giant eyes. And I'm going to teach you how to draw all three of the main Powerpuff Girls. And we're going to start with, uh, all you, you just need a pencil and an eraser for this project today, really. Unless you want to color them in, which I probably will, so you can see who is who. So we're going to start with um, Blossom. She's kind of like the ringleader, and she is going to go in the middle. So I'm going to draw an oval just a little bit bigger than a golf ball size in the middle of my paper, the upper middle of my paper, okay? And she's got some bangs, which look like this. So it's kind of like a triangle and then a flat point and then a triangle and then another flat. So she has four little bangs. And then on the top, she's got a bow, so I'm going to draw the middle part of the bow. And that part of the bow, and she's kind of flying in the air, so her bow can be going lots of different directions. Now I'm going to draw her ginormous eyes, and you're going to see what I mean when I draw these. Like, her eyes are huge. They take up a good chunk of her face don't know why, that's just how they're drawn. They almost look bug-like at first, but once you get into it, they look more cute and precious moment size than they do look like a bug. So then we're going to go in and draw another part of a circle, and then we're going to go in and draw another part of a circle, and then we're going to do one more circle on the inside. So you should have a round spot in the middle. The next part is going to be black. It's like the pupil, the part of your eyes that dilates when you go between light and dark. The next part of the eye is going to be colored um, pink, actually, and the next part is going to be white. So. I'm going to do the same thing on this side and try to match them up so they're about the same size. So you should have one white spot to show like a little reflection in her eye and then she should have the black part of the eye. And then you know what, I'm going to go ahead and color this the color it's supposed to be so you know um, that this is going to be pink. Oh, that almost looks. I think you're gonna find a different pink. It almost looks purple, doesn't it? See if you can find a better pink in here somewhere. There we go. That's the pink I was looking for. So her eyes are going to be pink. I better make them the same color though so they match. Alright, and then we have her mouth which is just like this. There's no nose for Powerpuff Girls. So then we're going to do an arm coming up here. It looks like it's coming out of her eye, but really she's, you know, doing a, a superhero pose flying forward. There's her other arm. And she's going to have her body's kind of like a square that's a little longer on the bottom. And she's got a stripe in the middle of her dress. two legs that have these slippers on them. And 
and then that stripe is black. I'm just going to shade it in with my pencil. And her outfit. Whoops, I mean, sharpen my pink. Her outfit's pink. To match her eyes. Again, this girl's name is Blossom. Her bow is red. And she has kind of an orange hair color. So, make her hair orange. I'm using colored pencils today, but you don't have to use colored pencils. You could use whatever color you've got. Crayons, markers, whatever. Okay, now she's got super long hair, so behind her body, you're actually going to draw a really long ponytail that comes out behind her body. Like it's hanging down in the back and you just can't see her ponytail behind her um, behind her body so got our power puff girl the first one and her name again is blossom and usually when you see her flying through the air like this she has like those lines to show that she's flying all right so the next person I'm going to do is bubbles Bubbles is another character with an oval shaped head, just a little bit bigger than a golf ball. But when I draw her, I'm going to stop right here and leave a little space in my circle, a little missing piece, and that's where I'm going to put her pigtail. So she has these pigtails that she um, wears with her outfit, her hairstyle. And Bubbles is kind of, she's really sweet. She likes cute things like cute doggies. She likes the color. You know, she just, she's just a happy, fun girl with a really positive attitude. And with her, I am just going to do the white part of her eye and the black part of her eye and then she has blue eyes so that's going to be blue and then this is going to be white. In this particular picture they don't have the white part of this eye so I'm just going to leave that. Alright so there's Bubbles. Her outfit is kind of similar. It's kind of boxy, but over here we're going to put one of her legs raised up like she has it up in flight pose. And then the other leg's going to be down. And we have these little black like, kind of ballet slipper looking things going on. It's very rectangular kind of dress with a stripe. Of course all her stuff is going to be blue. So then she's got her arms kind of just up here. I'm going to go ahead and find a blue pencil to do bubbles. So her dress is going to be blue. It's actually kind of a lighter blue than the one I'm using but I, don't, I can't find my light blue so we're going to use dark blue but normally it's light blue. So 
her blue outfit, blue eyes, and then she has yellow hair. So we'll do yellow for bubbles. Her Speedy McSpeederson marks are going to be blue. And then the last girl we're going to draw is um, Buttercup. And for her, she likes the color green. But anyway, so we're going to draw another oval just a little bit bigger than a golf ball on the side now buttercup's kind of uh, she's kind of mean she's kind of just got a more standoffish personality like she loves her family but she is not near as happy as the other ones in fact she has angry eyes usually so we're going to draw her eyebrows like this showing that she's kind of got a mean face on she doesn't trust anybody and she's just a little bit more mean. And this is Buttercup. Which one are you guys like? Are you guys more like the leader, like Blossom, kind of in the middle? Are you more happy-go-lucky and artsy like Bubbles? Do you just like to have fun? and? and everybody, have everybody be happy or are you more like kind of angry and standoffish like buttercup over here all right so we're going to do the middle part of her eye the pupil is going to be black with a white dot and then green is going to be the other part and also she has black hair I'm just going to go ahead and shade this with my pencil for now. If you really wanted to, you could go back and make it black with a marker or something later. And her face is going to be in frown mode because she is grumpy. Alright, she's going to be just like bubbles but the opposite. So we're going to do a short um, line and then an oval to show where her foot is and draw in that black shoe and we're going to do the long dress oops I kind of did that too long it really should go about there not not as long as I did it shouldn't go past the shoe that was silly of me long dress but not that long there we go. And then her other, um, her other foot comes down with her other shoe. And then she's got the stripe, just like bubbles. And that's about it for her, except that I need to color her green. So she has green eyes. And a green outfit and green lines coming down when she's flying like jet trails all right so there we go we got bubbles blossom and buttercup and together they represent the Powerpuff Girls. Alright, so there's Bubbles, Blossom, and Buttercup. Now, we're also going to do um, Spider-Man today. So, I'm going to go ahead and flip the page and get ready to show you how to do Spider-Man. Now I'm not going to do like the life-size normal uh, male, uh, adult man Spider-Man. I'm going to do like a smaller one, kind of like these Powerpuff Girls. So 
So, for most superheroes, you're going to start with this basic shape of like, almost like an upside down egg. Oops. Something like that. That's our basic head shape. And then you would go and add like ears and things like that and hair. But since we're doing Spider-Man, he's got a mask on that covers his face. So we, we don't have to see those. Like if you were going to do Iron Man, if you were going to do um, really any superhero that's got a mask on, you would kind of start with this egg-shaped face. And really any person, you would kind of start with an egg shape. So anyway, um, the eyes, I want you to draw this really quickly. This line is going to help us. We're going to erase it later, so make it super light. I'm going to put this almost like a visor to show where the eyes go, right in the middle of the head. And I'm going to put another line right here, just real light, to show that that's the middle of your face. Last week, or two weeks ago, I can't remember, we talked about uh, fruit with radial symmetry. And we said that humans don't have radial symmetry, we have bilateral symmetry, which means we could split our face in half, and it would be about the same on either side. You have one eye on this side, one eye on this side, half a nose on this side, half a nose on this side, one ear on this side, another ear on this side. It's like a mirror image. So that's what we're doing. We're putting super light marks there so that later we can um, erase them. But for now, it kind of makes us put stuff in the right spot. So we're going to put his eyes in these spots right here. And they need to be bigger towards the center and get smaller as they go away from the center. You want to try to make them about even. Just need a regular pencil eraser for today. There we go. So much better. Okay. And then there's going to be a white part on the inside and a black part on the outside. Now that you've got your eyes there, you can kind of erase that the first lines, the visor and the midline there. Because now your eyes should hopefully be about the same distance from the middle and about in the right spot. Okay? And now I'm going to put those Spider-Man lines around his head so we We've got some coming out like that, and like that, so I'm at four right now. I'm going to do one through the eye, like behind it, and then let's see, one, two, three, four more, so one, two, three, four. So I did four lines on top, one, two going through these eyes, one on each side, and then four more lines. And then I'm just going to go through, since this is not like the actual version of Spider-Man, it's like a smaller one, I'm just going to go through it and put, whoops, put these almost like circles to show the spider web lines on his face. Whoops. So one, two. Something like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. Alright, so there's my Spider-Man start. Now we're going to do, I'm going to do one with him like kind of crouching down. So I'm going to do like a shoulder muscle here. And a forearm muscle here. And then his hand. And he's kind of, it's kind of going to look like mittens. <laughs> for now. Okay? So that's the hand. So we've got kind of like a bigger 
muscle here, a little bit smaller muscle here, and then the hand, the min. Okay, hopefully you're with me still. And then on this side, he's going to be, you know, doing the spider spidey thing. I don't know if I can do it. He's going to be doing this. So we want the arm to actually look like it's coming out a little bit towards us. And then we're going to make this pretty big, like almost the same size as his face really, because it's closer to us. Like he's, it would be like if he was standing in front of you and putting his um, spidey hand in your direction to shoot a spider web at us. Okay, so we're doing this curve right here, and then this is going to be like a thumb. And then you're going to do one, two fingers that are showing, it's this part. So you're drawing this part by putting two ovals here, and then a pinky here, okay? And then he's got a pointer finger going out. So we're going to put the pointer finger here. So you should have one, two, three fingers extended out and two folded in like that. Okay. And then from this little crevice right here between the thumb and the pointer finger, we're going to do spider web coming out like that. And then for the spider web, you can just do some kind of U shaped arches and they get bigger and wider the further out you go, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like that. Okay, we're almost there. So then we got to draw the rest of his body. So I'm going to bring an arm, a piece of the underarm coming behind here. And the reason this looks so short is because really it's like it's coming towards you and so you can't see the rest of the body like normal size because this one is so close to the camera. So it's okay. Just trust me. So now we're going to draw his torso. And I think I drew this piece of his arm too far in. Bear with me. Okay, so here's his torso. Okay, now we're going to draw his legs. He's in this crouching position. So on this side, we're going to draw a leg coming up and then a knee. And his foot. And since he's got boots on, it's pretty simple. We're just going to do that. And then bring the rest of his leg kind of over here. And on this side, we're going to do the leg like it's crouching underneath. And his foot's going up, like, underneath his leg. I realize that was a lot of steps, but we're going to have this side coming out to show his knee behind him with a crouching foot, okay? And he's got these boots on. So I'm going to put some lines. I put one here in the middle. And then I'm going to do one, two, three lines across. And then I'm going to do one, two more lines on his toes. And then I'm going to have two lines come down and all the way to the end. So one, and then out to the end, two. One, out to the end, two. So now we're done with that one. Now he's got these boots on this side too, so we got to do these kind of funky because his leg's bent. So one, and then up to his leg, and then we can do another one starting right here, up, and then let's see, one line across the toe, one line right here at the crease where he's bending. Another line here. Let's see. I think I'm just going to start putting lines where I think it looks good. 
That looks pretty good. Okay, so there's no lines on this part because this part's going to be blue. But the lines do start up again right here around his waist. So I'm not sure what's going on, but it almost looks like this is kind of like a belt. So I'm going to draw it like a belt. And then I'm going to go back to this arm, this funky arm. If we go up a little bit, we're going to cut across and down like that. This part's going to be blue, and the rest of it's going to be red. So now we need to do the same thing on the other side. It's almost like it's framing it. So I'm going to take this line up and over, and then over again. And that's just to show where the blue is. So. Let me color that really quick in case that doesn't make sense. So this part of his outfit is going to be blue. And the rest of his upper outfit is going to be red. And it's going to have spider stripes and stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and color this part though so we know which part's which. That might be helpful. Okay, that's all the blue. So now all this other part is red and it needs spider like spider web lines on it, just like the face. So I'm gonna go, let's see. Looks like there's four main vertical lines on his chest. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four lines that way. Looks like there's one, two, three over here. And then one, two, three. Doesn't really matter how many, just kind of space them apart. Because with Spider Man, you gotta do lines one direction and you gotta go back and do them the other direction. So. so we're gonna just go across. Doesn't really matter how many lines. I did four if you're counting see there's one main one going down his arm and then there's another one like by his thumb it's probably good and then he has like a one around his neck two around his neck it almost looks like a necklace all right we're almost done with the lines so now on his fingers that the ones that he's folding in we're just going to do a one line going up and two lines going sideways. Same for most of his fingers. One line going up, two sideways. And if you want, you can kind of curve them in the direction of the other lines, like on his hand. It's like a big checkerboard without the checkers. So then in the middle of his chest we have a spider. So we have the head, we've got the body, we've got two legs going up on each side, and then we have two legs going down on each side. I'm not a great Spider-Man spider drawer. but. doing the best that I can. Alright, so now we go back with the red. So I'm just going to lightly color the red so you know where there it's red and then you can color it with whatever medium you have. Pastel, watercolor, pencils, crayons, markers, it's up to you. If you do happen to have like a fine point tip sharpie, like a black one, or a thin black marker, or a thin black pencil, that might be a good thing to go back and go over all these lines with, just to make him really pop. Or her, could be a girl, huh? If you watch the cartoon ones. 
Spider-Man something Spidey Universe or something. I saw that there was some girl Spider-Man, so it could be a Spider-Woman, too, if you want. Alright. So there we go. Spider-Man or Woman and the Powerpuff Girls. So hopefully you learned something new today and got some cool ideas for how to do Spider-Man. I'm going to go ahead and do this underneath his feet just to show that he's like standing on the ground. Alright, there we go. Please upload to Art Sonia when you're done. Thanks. Bye.